Good morning. We're on day 11. Only have four nights left in this hotel room. That's pretty exciting. And today I finally ordered off of Uber Eats for myself. I got the Uber Eats pass just because of quarantine. I don't know how long I'm gonna have it for, but it feels really powerful and it feels really fun. I'm a part of a club. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. I always think my friends with the Uber Eats passes are so cool. <laughs> but when you check out and it's like, you are saving $45 on delivery. So good. Anyways, so the first thing that I ordered today is juice. Lemon juice. The lemons in Taiwan are green. They say they're lemons, but honestly, I think they're limes. And then we have grapefruit juice. My plan is to drink these within the next two days. At least, at least. I'm not gonna drink this all today. It would be nice if I could make this last for four days. So I would drink only half a cup each day. I actually don't know how much water they put in and I requested that they didn't add any sugar. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Straight up lime juice. Oh, this one's actually good. It's kind of sweet. I wonder what it would be like if I mixed it together. One, two lemon juice oh that's probably enough grapefruit juice what it looks like it's really sour but here i have another plan i will just fill my empty water bottle with this add some water yes i'm very happy with myself right now this is it, y'all. This is it. This is the beginning of my journey back to normal life. Well, it's starting to rain very hard. Let me show you. Those are big raindrops. Everyone's putting their jackets on. Wow, what are these raindrops? Wow. From here, it looks like, almost looks like hail. Downpour. Look at that, wow. There was a guy who was just hanging his laundry right here, like, less than 10 minutes ago. I'm glad that he got his laundry. That poor girl. Look at all those people underneath the cover waiting. The rain seems worse today than it was when the typhoon came. That man has not returned since. Just thinking about ordering like a salad off of Uber Eats today, but I wanted to wait for my lunch to come first to see if I had to, but it looks really healthy. So I'm going to eat this and then maybe we'll order a salad for dinner. Who knows? It's time. I'm going to step up to the challenge that I was given yesterday and make some dumbbells out of all of my water bottles. I did some math again. One water bottle is 600 milliliters. So if I want to make a 10 kilogram dumbbell, I have to put 16.67 water bottles together somehow. 17 water bottles sounds like a lot. I'll just start with a five kilogram dumbbell. It's gonna be four bottles on each side. Here is a ton of empty water bottles. I'm gonna go fill up eight first. I already filled up eight, but it doesn't look like that much. So I'm gonna fill up another eight. So we'll go for the 10 kg dumbbell. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Here I have 16 water bottles, which is just under 10 kilograms. This is a tool that I have, just some tape. The only thing that I could think of to be the grip of my dumbbell is my hairbrush but I'm not really sure how we're going to make it stick. Um, let me first tape up these water bottles together and then we'll see. I think I'm gonna start with four. This is so funny to me. <laughs> okay, here we have one group, a little unstable. I've been saving the rubber bands for my bento boxes, so. One down. Okay, let's just start off with these two. Airbrush in here and... Okay, so when I lift it, water bottle split. The tape isn't strong enough. I think there needs to be more tape. Yeah, it works pretty well. Dumbbell has weights on both sides. 
This is about five pounds. It's not bad. <gasps> okay, you guys, I think, I think I know what we can do. I have an idea. <laughs> okay, let me go get it. Check this out. Why don't we use this? Take my, all my clothes off. You guys! <laughs> so awesome! We have something promising! Y'all. <laughs> oh, yes! Check this out! <laughs> okay, okay. I see a flaw. I see a flaw. Let's try to fix this. How do we fix this? I think I didn't make the tape tight enough. I tightened it up. Just slides on into the water bottles. This is so cool. I think the next step is to figure out a way to secure the baton so that these water bottles do not move. All I can really think of is just taping it. So I'll just try to tape it first. I'm gonna take the rubber bands and put them here at the bottom. It doesn't slide in. I'm gonna try to tape this section. Okay. Ah! <laughs> so maybe that didn't work. This tape is a funny color. It just looks like a huge bandage. Oh, you know what? Okay. Duh. There has to be a stop here and a stop up here so it doesn't fall off, just like at the gym. I wanted to put a water bottle in there. Like off by the smallest amount. Okay, yeah. It doesn't go any further than this. I'm not really sure what this does other than look like something I can smack you with. <laughs> Maybe it could just hang out on the end like this. Oh, yeah, okay. It's pretty stuck on there. All right, we found a solution. <laughs> this is so funny. Then I'm gonna line the baton with the rubber bands so that there's a little grip. Okay, there's one side. A five kilogram dumbbell. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Okay, let's try to make it a ten kilogram dumbbell. Here we are. Can you see it? <laughs> My goodness. I consider that great success. Okay, it's time for the second challenge, which is to communicate to my neighbors or the outside world. I'm gonna write in English because I don't want them to write in Chinese and for me to not be able to read it. Um, and then I'm gonna write, have a good evening because those people who live in front of me, they don't appear to be home yet. So I'm gonna put it up on my window before they come home and then pull my blinds down so they don't see me put it up. And then hopefully tomorrow when I wake up, there will be a message. Okay, here we have it. Here are my letters. Okay, it's up there. <laughs> have a great evening. <laughs> now I'm gonna pull the blinds down so they can see me. Even if they don't write something back, I would hope that they would at least wave or somebody would wave to me if they saw me. Especially the guy that does his laundry on the roof right over here. But we'll see. 
今天晚上的晚餐又是排骨饭。<笑> I will say that this food is really delicious. I think I've officially reached the point of quarantine where I miss my own cooking. <laughs> I'm not even a great chef. I make the same thing every day. I make chicken, salmon, kale, or cauliflower rice, or whatever veggies available at the market, <laughs> and sweet potato fries. So the front desk just told me that they put a delivery in front of my door, and then. I went and looked at it, and it's like two jugs of milk and some other things. I don't drink milk, <laughs> and I didn't order delivery. I just watched the front desk come to my door and walk to the room across the hall from me, and put it there. <laughs> I definitely touched the bag and touched some of the things in there. Good thing I already tested negative for COVID. This whole week, that room hasn't had anybody living in it. But now they're here. Too full, Thomas.